Welcome to Adding and Subtracting Fractions with Like Denominators. During this podcast, you will learn the parts of a fraction, what it means for fractions to have like denominators, and how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators. Please follow along with your supplement handout and pause the podcast as needed to be able to fill in the answers and answer the questions. First, let's look at the parts of a fraction. We can see the fraction 5 sevenths or 5 over 7. The top number, which is 5, is called the numerator. The bottom number, 7, is called the denominator. So what does it mean for fractions to have like denominators? To add or subtract fractions with like denominators, first we need to know what it means to have like denominators. Having like denominators simply means the bottom portions of the fractions, called the denominator, is the same for every fraction. Let's look at an example. Two-fifths and one-fifth. Are these examples of like denominators? You can see that the examples of two-fifths and one-fifth are fractions with like denominators because the bottom number on both fractions is five. Let's look at a non-example. Two-sevenths and one-tenth. This is an example of fractions that do not have like denominators because the bottom number on both fractions is different or not the same. The bottom number on the first fraction is 7 and the bottom number on the second fraction is 10. During this podcast, we are only going to focus on fractions that have like denominators. Later, we will learn how to work with fractions that have unlike denominators. Adding and subtracting fractions with like denominators is fairly simple. To add or subtract fractions with like denominators, add or subtract the numerators or the top numbers and keep the denominators or bottom numbers the same. Let's try an example. One-fifth plus three-fifths equals one plus three. Notice we're only adding the top numbers. One plus three is four. And we keep the bottom number the same. So one-fifth plus three-fifths equals four-fifths. So to summarize this, we add the top numbers. One plus three, which equals four and we keep the bottom numbers the same. We do not add the bottom numbers. Please remember this. Let's try another example. 5 eighths minus 4 eighths equals 5 minus 4 over 8. So notice we're subtracting the numerators or the numbers on top so that 5 minus 4 equals 1, and we're keeping the denominator, the bottom number, the same. So please keep in mind, we only add or subtract the numerators, which is the top number on each fraction, and we keep the denominator the same. We do not subtract the denominators. Try this one on your own. 8 fifteenths minus 4 fifteenths. Please feel free to pause this podcast as you work on this example on your own paper. Please finish the examples and questions provided on your worksheet. To summarize this lesson, now that you know how to add and subtract fractions with like denominators, you're ready to move on to unlike denominators. Please practice this process as much as you can because practice makes perfect. Good work, class.